2013 was the year Kenyans elected as their fourth president, Uhuru Kenyatta, son of their first president, Jomo Kenyatta. According to opinion polls conducted just before the general election held on March 4th, the presidential race was mainly between Deputy Prime Minister Uhuru Kenyatta of the Jubilee Alliance against Prime Minister Raila Odinga of the Coalition of Reforms and Democracy, CORD. But in the end, as had been the case in several previous general elections, the big issue that dominated the elections would turn out to be tribal affiliations. Kenyatta ended up garnering support from his Kikuyu community and sister communities in the Mount Kenya area, the Embu and the Meru, as well as from Kalenjin voters in the Rift Valley. The latter was because the Jubilee Alliance had brought together Kenyatta's National Alliance Party, TNA, and the United Republican Party, URP, of William Ruto, a Kalenjin, who was Kenyatta's running mate. Odinga got most of his votes from his Luo community in Nyanza province and those living in the country's capital, Nairobi, as well as from voters in Coast province, Western province and the Akamba of Eastern province. The latter mainly because the Cord coalition combined Raila Odinga's Orange Democratic Movement, ODM, and the Wiper Democratic Movement of his running mate, Vice President Kalonzo Musyoka, Akamba. Despite the strong ethnic loyalties that informed the whole election process, the 2013 general election was peaceful, a far cry from the 2007 polls that were marred by post-election violence that left more than a thousand Kenyans dead and more than half a million homeless. A few days after the polls closed, the Independence Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC, that conducted the polls, declared Kenyatta the winner, beating his nearest rival, Odinga, by more than 800,000 votes. Odinga and his court coalition did not accept the presidential election results. They filed a petition in the Supreme Court against Kenyatta's election, citing malpractices in vote counting and technical faults in the IEBC's electronic voting system. However, the Supreme Court, headed by Chief Justice Willy Mutunga, rejected their petition. On April 9th, Uhuru Kenyatta was sworn in at Kasarani Moi International Stadium as Kenya's fourth president, with outgoing President Mwai Kibaki handing over to him the instruments of power in a ceremony witnessed by many African heads of state. In the new 18-member cabinet that Kenyatta appointed soon after he was sworn in were six women, including Rachel Omamo as Defence Cabinet Secretary, the first time in Kenya the defence docket has been headed by a woman. Very exciting times indeed for Kenya except for a dark cloud that still hangs over it all. The cases of crimes against humanity that was still pending at the International Criminal Court at The Hague against four Kenyans, including President Uhuru Kenyatta. Part of the cloud would clear when early in the year, the ICC dropped charges against former head of the public service, Francis Mothara, for lack of evidence. On the economic front... 2013 was the year heavy rains caused flooding in many parts of the country and caused more than a hundred deaths and left thousands homeless. President Kenyatta's new government was forced to deploy its armed forces to distribute more than a hundred million Kenya shillings worth of food to thousands of victims of the floods. In the world of sports, 2013 was the year that world marathon runner Wesley Kiprotic was elected MP of Cherengani, the first time an active athlete had been elected to parliament in Kenya. And it was the year Rita Jepto won the Boston Women's Marathon, Priska Jepto won the London Women's Marathon, and Eliud Kipchoge won the Hamburg Men's Marathon. Twenty thirteen was also the year Kenyans bade farewell to newly elected Senator for Makweni and former Minister for Education, Mutula Kilonzo. 
former chairman of the Electoral Commission of Kenya, Samuel Kivuitu, and to David Okuta Osiani, powerful former Secretary General of the Kenyan National Union of Teachers. <laughs>